What's going on, y'all? So I am so annoyed. I am so sorry. I am so annoyed. I literally just talked for a good 20 minutes. And then once I... And the shit wasn't even recorded. It wasn't even recorded. I... <laughs> annoyed because it's late and i was just like what and then the episode wasn't nothing and so girl all of that anyway i'm just finna run down this is the real housewives of potomac and i apologize for how this review is finna go because like i said i recorded it just a few minutes ago and come to find out it did not record oh my goodness i'm so annoyed but the episode gave me absolutely nothing i'm so glad that i did watch mary's medicine first because I really would have been truly uh, annoyed like I was. Honestly, we ain't even got to go through the whole episode because there's only a few points that I really just want to talk about. And mainly, we could just talk about me. And I know this is going to be like, well, you're going to have some people that, you know, like me and say, well, you know, Mia is making the mo uh, making a show and all this stuff. See you talking about it. Everybody talking about it regardless. Yeah, okay. If you want to believe that, you can believe that. But we ain't talking positively. We are talking about the negative aspect that she's bringing to the show because girl are you authentic or not no you're not okay like honestly let's just go there ashley and giselle had this little gna pro um um you know wellness event and i ain't even had a problem with that honestly didn't because ain't nothing wrong with trying to get your body healthy you know the whole athleisure wear it didn't work out or at least y'all didn't promote it bitch after that little fiasco that happened that i feel like overshadowed the um whole situation that happened with the fight and that girl that overshadowed the whole thing plus the fact that you know people don't really like ashley and well i ain't gonna say People don't, uh, there's, they got negativity around their names. Okay. So who knows? Who knows? I don't know, but they got fans too. So I don't know what went wrong there. So they pivoted and went to wellness. And so they threw this whole wellness event, you know, exercising, doing yoga, all this other stuff, you know, and it was a lot of people that came out because it was also benefiting the brain cancer society. So that was a good look. That's why I really have no issue with what went down. It seemed like it was organized. Um, people were actually participating and everything. The only issue that I had, bitch, why did they have Ashley up in there singing? Thriving and surviving, I'm going to need you to cut the cord to that mic. Everybody was confused. Wendy tried. She said, girl, what was that? Stacy says, you know what? It takes a lot of confidence to try to hit that note. Stacy is hilarious, okay? I don't give a damn. Stacy is funny to me, and I will continue to say that. She is hilarious in her confessionals. I will say that. Um, but yeah, and then Mia took it upon herself to use this time to talk to the ladies about what went down between Gordon and Ink. And, you know, I, I, I just don't like her at this point. Yes, I said she was funny and everything, but she is not a good person. She is full of shit. And she is doing any and everything that she can to have a storyline and to stay on this show. And I really feel like at this point she is declassing the show. All right. Um, she is not trying to truly be there for people. She is trying to make it all about herself. This whole situation with Gordon, I don't like the way it feels as though she's weaponizing or using, exploiting, I should say, mental health is situation. Some people can say she's not, but that is literally what is given, you know, always coming on the camera. And whenever she talks about Gordon, it's about him being manic, 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 manic. And I'm like, is he really being manic or is he really just telling y'all the truth? Or are you really just putting 20 on 10 or whatever? Shout out to rocks. You know, I'm um, like, what's going on? I, I just, I just don't get it. Like the way that she tried to make his situation. Granted, yes, y'all in this together because the fact that y'all got kids. But you can set boundaries. You 
you allow or was okay with him being in the same building and you okay with being his caregiver. So why are you complaining about the things that's going on? You're doing it on camera and it's always about Gordon being manic, manic, manic. It ain't never no positive stuff that you want to show. And I'm like, damn, the way that Mia talk about it, and I know it's editing too. It's almost as if Gordon is manic 24, seven, 365. And it's like, girl, what? You're sitting there crying about it, how he came at your man and you can't deal with it and all that stuff. Bitch, what about him? Are you getting him help since you want to be his caregiver? Put his ass in a fucking notion home or something, okay? Like assistant living or something like that or put him in, you know, where's his family? Girl, what? I know he got at least somebody on that side that still fuck with him. I, I, I just don't understand her. I don't. And I'm so glad like at the end of the episode... Giselle and them called her out. Like, you want to talk about this man and talk about how he keep on, you know, coming at ink and all this stuff. But, Jay, y'all sitting there kicking it on Instagram very next day by the pool and them too cool. And I get it that, you know, it happens or whatever. Mania comes and goes. Episodes happens or whatever. But like they said, when it comes to Mia, you cannot tell what she's saying is the truth or not. And then the way that she really, like I said, she is not a good person. The way, you know, she wanted to switch the subject and when she was talking to Kiana and talk about Karen, because Karen had a court date. Oh, she had the court date. She went to court. She was nervous. The court got, the date got uh, postponed until September. Okay, fine. They was in June, right? So my whole thing is like, you never really gave a damn. I get it that Mia and um, Karen ain't really cool. But Karen did bring her into the group. And I'm just real like, y'all, y'all never was cool. Like, how did y'all meet for y'all to turn on each other after like one season? And then you just, you, you, you're not being sympathetic. You're not being empathetic or anything of that such. You just want to know what's going on with her so that you can gossip or that you can use it and tuck it in the back for later and throw it in her face or whatever. That's the type of devious ass bitch that you are. Okay. And I'm just like, girl, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of her at this point because it's just like, it really feels like she is making this all up. You know, like the whole people saying that, you know, she the person that we need to watch and, oh, she the force multiplier of the shit st- of the season and she the main person and now you got to live up to that. So now you making shit up. That's what it feel like. You lie too goddamn much. We can't tell what's true, what's facts, what's fiction. Okay. So you got that going on, right? Then you got me, um, you know, Ashley, girl, we don't give a damn. Ashley up here talking about her. First of all, it's her birthday, the day of Wendy's party. <laughs> Wendy, girl, now you know you could, you ain't, you ain't have to do her like that. But at the same time, I am not mad. You know, I just find it that just shows how irrelevant you are. That just shows how like don't nobody give a fuck about you, Ashley. That lady couldn't even put her birthday party on the next day or the day before. She put it on your birthday, your actual born day. Wow. I did not know that lady was a year older than me. Bitch, okay. Um, that young boy, he looked just the 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 oldest boy, he looked just like Michael. God damn. You have your daddy is an a-hole, and you gotta look at yourself in the mirror every day and know that your child looks like the asshole that you Okay, and I ain't saying nothing about, I know he literally looked like, I'm talking about his attributes. I just hope that the boy don't grow up to be like his daddy, like a, you know, just a pathetic human being. But anyway, you know, her family was there and all of that. Like, I have nothing nice to say about Michael. I really don't because I just don't understand how he got away with a lot of stuff. You know, they was up there talking about infidelity and stuff. Are you sure that he was, um, you could prove the infidelity? She was like, bitch, it was on camera. What are you talking about? Her family come over there. She talking about this divorce and all this stuff. Girl, don't nobody care. They literally just filed for divorce. Literally. Probably like a couple of days ago. So, that just came out in the news. Like, girl, I get it. You got to be you gotta be separated for this amount of time. And then you going through media. Bitch, how come y'all ain't filed the papers just till now? Like, girl, I don't want to hear nothing else about this divorce shit. I don't care who Ashley is dating. Baby, they should have got rid of her. As well as Robin, because the show would have went on without the bitch. All right, I'm sorry. I'm so annoyed if this is coming off so negative because that review was so good. <laughs> that video was good, and I just ain't got it in me no more. I really don't. Um. So then, 
you know, we get to Wendy's birthday party. I like the fact that Wendy mama uh, uh, stood her ground to um, Mia. But honestly, Mia didn't give a damn what that lady was saying. She was like, you called me a crow because Mia was like, yeah, because we had back and forth. She was like, yeah, back and forth on the Twitters because you were saying some shit about my daughter. And then you were saying shit about me, bitch. You calling me the crow, calling me a witch and all this stuff. I am, a, what did she say? I'm a, I'm a child of God, okay, filled with the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? I said, I know that's right. I know that's right. Cast them demons out, bitch. And she is a demon for real. Okay, and I really don't talk like that, but she just gives me, and I'm not talking about Wendy Mom, I'm talking about me, and she just gives me, she got a lot of issues. I know she got childhood trauma or whatever, but mm -hmm, I just couldn't be around her. I really couldn't. Um, another thing that irked me uh, about this episode, that whole scene when TJ, let me tell you something, Mr. TJ. We found out, somebody found a clip of him when he was on um, Sister Sister. I said that was TJ. Now, let me tell you, I don't know exactly what the episode was, but if you ever watched Sister Sister, it was the episode when I think Lisa had hired this dude to either be her assistant or model or something like that. And he was trying to sue her or was about to sue her for sexual harassment or something like that. And um, he was... He had his abs out and everything, whatever. I said, bitch, that's TJ. I said, well, TJ, you was cute. You was cute. You was something to look at back in the day. I said, what? That was you, bitch. Also, you've been in the acting game for a minute. Okay, we still don't know who you are. But all right, that's cool or whatever. But let me tell you something, Mr. TJ. I'm not for the one, I'm not the one that like to call people sassy and all that stuff, especially when it comes to men, because I know what people are really trying to say when they say sassy, they're trying to imply that a man is gay when they do certain things that's not perceived as masculine, you know what I'm saying, that's not perceived as a heterosexual man would do, right? But in this case, because like I said, I don't like that, right? You are already got people thinking, um differently about your sexuality which is none of their business none of our business regardless but we can clearly tell that even though i know you and stacy still together quote unquote it's giving more so she's your good judy than anything and i'm just saying it just because okay like y'all homies y'all not in love at least she love you more than you love her and i honestly don't feel like you are in uh, a relationship type of love you are a friendship love and you're not in love and you only like the lady that's what it is, okay? And then when y'all sat down at that table and you got upset at her, talk about some, oh, now you finally talking to me, now I finally see you or whatever, because you left me here and all this stuff. Don't do that, man. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. I said, excuse the fuck out of me. That's your woman. She calling you your best, that's my friend, that's my best friend. You. She can't even call you what, what, is it a rule that she can't call you your boyfriend or her, her man or whatever in public? Like, I'm confused about what's going on in that relationship. And then you calling her man and man like that's your homie instead of your woman. You could have said, come on now, babe. Come on, babe. You know, a love, come on, sweetie. Don't do that. Don't do that. But then you take it a little bit further when she tried to touch you and try to make sure you was good. Don't touch me. Don't do that. Don't touch me. And it was just the way that he said that. I said, what the fuck was that? Just because she wasn't holding you by the hand, mind you, they came in. We ain't never seen them holding hands or touching or nothing. You know, and I'm just sitting here like, you know what, TJ, you only get one chance with me and you done already fucked it up. Because why are you acting like that? Baby, you acting a little bit too much for a nigga that ain't giving her no dick, okay? I'm, I'm sorry to say it like that, but that's just, like, you don't get those privileges. <laughs> you can't be in control. Like, what? You are controlling the dick. You controlling the sex. And then you gonna get upset at her for what? See, you're sexually frustrated. That's why you getting pissed off at every little thing, okay? Go ahead and let, mm, let me stop. Let me stop. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Before I say something, I should. Because he just really pissed me off than that. Um, Wendy, you also pissed me off. What type of interest was that? When Giselle said, now you're doing a bit much. You got me up in here agreeing with Giselle. Excuse me. You did a bit much with that entrance. I said, what type of entrance was that? You could have just came out the doors and walked through. Baby, you playing and playing Tokyo Drift on the goddamn lakes. Like, girl, What? We thinking that you finna come up and you couldn't even do that, baby. Y'all up there doing donuts on the water. 
and playing in the sunlight. Okay, it's sunset. We can barely see you and 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 and, and, and you doing donuts and all that stuff. Girl, what? And then you finally get to the dock. It was cute that your uh Eddie people was there. That was cute. They took pictures and all that. But did you notice? This is what I'm talking about when Mia want to make it about her and she talking about Gordon and making it like she's uh, a victim or not necessarily a victim, but it's all about her, flipping it about her, making her the forefront. Before they announced that, right when they was about to announce that Wendy was about to make her entrance, she said, let me tell you about Gordon. And before she can even finish that, that's when DJ said, let's get in for us, um, Wendy about to come in and this amazing entrance and all that stuff. Cut her off right before she can even say something. And I said, thank goodness. And that's when Giselle and them calls her ass out at the end of the episode. But other than that, that's all that went through. They also have uh, Ashley kept on trying to tell everybody that uh, I'm the birthday. Like, today really is my birthday, bitch. We don't care. No one cares. But that basically was the episode. I apologize again, y'all. The life of a YouTuber. Y'all, we just got to make sure your stuff is recording. It's late. But, um... Mm, 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 mm. Episode really wasn't nothing. I really do hope that y'all have a good weekend, a week. Okay, I hope y'all have a safe week. I hope you have a fun week, a loving week with your family on Thanksgiving. I hope you eat well. I hope you, you know, just just be around your people and love on each other. I really do. Be safe with it, and I will see you guys later. Peace.